Ooh, yes. We're back, guys. Let's get it. Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon, and today we are looking at a CRKT knife. So before we get into that, this was brought to you guys by BladeOps.com. Guys, go visit BladeOps.com. Let them know that Brandon or Everyday Minimalist had sent you, and they will definitely hook you up on your next knife purchase. I will also leave a link in the description below with this exact knife. If you guys want to help out the channel, that is an affiliate link, so it really does kick back and then allow me to get more knives. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This is the CRKT Van Hoy Snap Lock or Van Hoy Design Snap Lock. This thing is very interesting. So it literally holds open like that. The reason why I wanted to do a review on this specific knife is because this one has a really true place in my heart. Here is the original version. So it even has the patent pending engravement there. This knife has been in my collection for roughly 12 to 13 years now. It originally came out in 2004 and I got mine in 2007. And I actually was looking up online, just seeing if they were still in production and there's a gen two version. So I was like, oh my God, I need to get my hands on that. This is called the 5102N. So it's a little bit different than the original snap lock. And just to kind of give you guys a reference here. So it's actually a completely different shade as far as the steel goes. And then also the finish, the blade itself kind of looks a little bit different as well. Um, they're both drop point blades, but this one has more of like a Warren Cliff shape to it. So let's quickly get into some specs for you guys. The total open length, you're looking at about six and a quarter inches. The blade length, you're looking at about 2.55 inches. The closed length, you're looking at about 4.21 inches. So this thing is uh, kind of decent and it only weighs about two and a half ounces. So, I mean, it still is gonna be pretty hefty, but um, it's not that bad in my opinion. So looking at the blade itself, you're looking at 420 JZ steel, which I don't have a ton of experience with, to be honest with you guys. So uh, we'll have to put it through the paces and then see what this thing is gonna be capable of. You're looking at a stonewash finish and then also a plain edge grind for 50 bucks. This is not bad whatsoever. Now, the really interesting thing about this specific knife is going to be the snap lock system. It makes it just super unique. I don't think I've ever seen another knife that does this. So what you do is you essentially push this leather down and then hold it out in a 180 degree angle. That's what originally got me hooked onto this original snap lock is the fact that it's just so interesting. When I was little, I used to watch a lot of tech reviewers. So this was featured on Unbox Therapy's channel, YouTube channel, and I was a huge fan back in the day. So I was like, oh my gosh, that thing is so cool. I am just super happy that they came out with a second generation version. Now to talk about the handles, those are made of stainless steel. And then uh, you can see that it is going to have a pocket clip. So you can switch it over to a left-hand carry um, or vice versa. So this will be ambidextrous. Cool thing is when you do take off the pocket clip, if you are flipping it out with your left hand, pocket clip is on the other side. You can flip the action to the other side and it's actually super easy. Overall fit and finish for 50 bucks, anywhere between 40 to 50 bucks. I think this is gonna be a great value guys, um, especially if you want this to be a little bit more of like a showpiece. I've actually taken this out and like had my friends try to open it up and they're super confused. Um, some of them have solved it and then some of them can. not And uh, that just is a really good conversation starter piece in my opinion. The ergonomics on this knife, I mean, they're not the greatest. It's literally just a bar there. So you're not gonna get a ton of grip. This knife is just really nostalgic in my opinion. The original one has just been in the collection for ages now. As you can tell, I've tried to put my own edge on there and then it failed miserably, but <laughs> it works. And over time, if you guys do pick one of these up, the action is gonna be a lot easier. So this one's just straight off the bat, a little bit harder to get moved out and also get those tolerances a little bit softer. So guys, there is my overall impression of the CRKT Snap Lock Gen 2. Fantastic knife if you guys have the money for it. It's a really interesting knife and it's gonna be a great 
conversation starter. So I know I kept this one really quick, guys. I really appreciate the time that you spent today to watch this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, go ahead, throw me a thumbs up. If you just liked it, throw me a thumbs down and I promise to you, I will do better next time. If you guys would like to see some pictures of the snap lock and then many other knives, go over to my Instagram page. It's just gonna be every.day.minimalist and then you can see all those awesome shots there. If you guys would like to see more knife content and EDC content here on YouTube, just go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell icon so you know when that next video is live. Thank you guys so much for dropping by and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.